CVTV live at the CVX Expo 23 right here, Scottsdale, Arizona. And the hits keep coming even though it's the last day. Right now joining us, Kathy Mazza. Kathy is the head of channel sales with UMA. Yes, How sir. you doing? I'm great. Thanks so much for having me. We're uh, last day, but still a great day. Oh, I cannot wait to sleep, but it's going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, how has the show been? The show's been great. We've uh, met some new partners that we've uh, never met with. Uh, okay. Obviously had an education session that was a uh, really good turnout and had some great fun with some of our TSD. So it was good to have some strategic partnerships and uh, conversation. So really good. Fantastic. Could you tell us a little bit about UMA? Yes. Yeah, so UMA is a 20 year old publicly traded company, uh, which uh, surprises many folks. We hear as they swing by our booth, didn't realize you, didn't realize you did this. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a UCAS company at our core, but we've really doubled down in uh, three things. Hybrid is the way we approach. It's not rip everything out and start over, but we are going to work with our, our partners and their, their customers to really create uh, and solve those challenges without doing everything all over. Um, but we're doubling down in POTS replacement. Okay. Super sexy, never thought in 20 years I'd be talking about POTS again. POTS replacement is hot right now. And we have a hospitality practice, so we're get, able to get into really very low single digit uh, for these, uh, these in room, low use, no use, because nobody uses it other than to call down for room service, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's fantastic, Kathy. And obviously your role with uh, channel sales. Um, what's your vision for the channel and for the VAR partners? Yeah, so I mean, obviously as head of channel sales, I am doubling down in channel. You know, UMA's been around for 20 years, but our channel program uh, is just about five years old. So we like to consider ourselves the hidden gem in the channel. Um, so I'm really all about evangelizing you. If you are following us on LinkedIn, the team is everywhere, which is why we couldn't miss this show. Okay. Uh, it's all about getting the word out there and really working. Um, my goal is that partners are going to be our biggest evangelists because we're helping them solve those unique challenges. Um, but personally, my goal is to take over 50% of the UMA business is coming through the channel, which is a pretty aggressive for a very small, uh, small and lean and mean organization. And, and we'll go from there. Well, that sounds absolutely great. Uh, now, there's a lot of buzz about air dial. I'm yes. hoping you can talk about that. <laughs> uh, how can partners leverage it to solve uh, customer challenges? And I want to make sure I get all uh, related to pot sunset and, of course, the ever increasing phone bills. Ever increasing. It's egregious what yeah. we're seeing these carriers uh, charge. So, you know, obviously 2019, there was the FCC uh, mandate. It went into effect August 22nd. We are seeing customers bring us, our partners are bringing us these customer invoices over a thousand dollars a line for a POTS line. Yeah. And so this is, you know, UMA Air Dial is all around fire life safety compliance. So we ensure that we've got the alarm panel. We can solve for those left behind POTS lines. There's 30 plus million of them out there today. So I'll take a, a large fraction of that uh, and, and with our partners, the success. So we're, we're working on single shingle, like, you know, up to multiple thousands of lines with an enterprise customer. So we've got tens of thousands. Uh, UMA Air Dial, we've been doing it for two years, so we're certainly out of the gate. It is all in our house. So software stack we designed, manufacturing of those boxes, so we own that manufacturing okay. end to end, and we have a really unique remote device management, so partners can see at a single pane of glass every device that they have out at their customer environment. Get a, a SMS email alerts for battery, you know, device in and out of service, and really, I'll, I'll break the news here, we are about to announce uh, multi-path, so it's an active active between the cell and the LAN, and I don't think anyone else is even close to getting there. Well, that is really, Breaking news. That, that's cool. That's really <laughs> smart, actually. Uh, another thing that I keep hearing about is the hospitality practice. How is that resonating with the partners? So, you know, I've been in the UCAS space for, for some time now, and, uh, you know, most UCAS providers just say, walk away. We can't get into those really economical, you know, uh, why, why are they going to go to a cloud transformation? Nobody's paying fifteen to twenty dollars per month per seat for every one of those rooms. So you know we can leverage SIP trunking. We can keep the existing wiring. A lot of these older facilities, we've got hundreds of hundreds of properties um, under management with our hospitality practice. So in that single digit per room, but a full UC stack for all the admin, the sales, you know, the front desk, the billing, all of those get the full UC. Um, but what we're we're seeing with partners is the success, not just hospitality, hotel mode. Hotel, mm -hmm. but think of it in anything that's low, no use. So we're seeing it at schools, especially charter schools. We're seeing it at assisted living.
living spaces. So any time of that environment, we're having tremendous success. So POTS replacement and hospitality are resonating with our partners. No, that, that's absolutely amazing. And there's a whole lot of innovation you're kind of talking about. Yeah. Seems to be a theme for you guys. Yes. Uh, what's, what else sets UMA apart? Certainly that innovation. I mean, I, I, would, I would certainly, you know, as a 20-year company, we pride ourselves on our financial success. So, you know, we are a publicly traded, profitable, uh, and I used to have in my talk track that we didn't have any debt, but we just recently announced the acquisition within the past month of a, a company called 2600 Hertz, and that's, yeah. the, that's the open framework APIs and that we built our UC stack against, and I would say that, you know, as partners and VARs are looking and, you know, recommending, being that trusted advisor to recommend a tech stack, you want to make sure it's the right tech stack, but you also want to make sure the company behind it is going to be in for the longevity. So in this economic environment, we're still acquiring companies, and I so I think that that is always, you know, not only the technology innovation, yeah. but the way that we are looking at the business and being strategic, um, you know, I think that, that that should resonate with partners. Well, it sounds like it's the perfect kind of merger there. It's an amazing merger. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> amazing. Uh, what else can we expect from the company moving forward? Well, we're always going to stay top of mind. I would say, you know, POTS replacement from a UCAS company kind of didn't, you know, kind of came out of left field, but right. we saw a unique opportunity. We're doubling down. We're we're going to continue. We've got an amazing biz dev team that's going out and making strategic partnerships. And, and that's really our hospitality practice is, is kind of the cornerstone is our partnership with Jazzware that gives yeah. us all these property management system integrations. Um, and we're really verticalizing. You know, we announced a partnership with Next Health that goes after dental, a partnership recently with Clio for legal verticals. So, okay. you know, we're really trying to solve by those strategic partnerships, really those unique cases instead of just trying to kind of fire it and do just an off-the-shelf fit everything into one little box. So we're really going to try and, and get the right partnership. So I think you'll see more of that in the in the future. Now, you've definitely thrown a whole lot at us here today, Kathy. Uh, if people want more information, where can they go? Obviously, uma.com, O-O-M-A. You can always reach out to me on LinkedIn. So Kathy, K-A-T-H-Y, Mazza. I'm a very avid LinkedIn. Uh, we'd love to get you connected with any of our channel managers. We've got them in territory. Um, our VAR partners, we've got an entire VAR team underneath me as well. So for our VARs and MSPs, you know, we want to go to market and help our partners do collectively, all partners, uh, be easy to do business with. That's our goal. Perfect. Thank you so much for the time. No, thank you for having me. We appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, yeah. And once again, this is CVTV with our good friends at UMA. We're live at the CVX Expo 23. Everybody take care.